the smell in the air from this privet bloom is so strong and it is blooming hard and you can smell it they love bugs they like nectar too more to bloom and some already peaked out and if you've ever smelled ligustrum plants that are in bloom that's what these smell like because that's what these are a wild ligustrum and the honey tastes just like it smells out here right now and the tallow blooms are not terribly far behind as we look at that one still at least two to three weeks there's a bee working the privet When I got a full day to do in the bees, this is how I load my smoker. This is some leftover that I pulled off the top. I stick that in there with some fresh pine straw. Pack it in. Wood pellets. And not the kind you use in your pellet grill. The cheapo ones used for stoves, wood stoves. Put it on up. More pine straw to keep it in. There we go. Put the old lid on there and light it up. Don't want to do this if you got a sentimental smoker. It messes up the sides. Once them wood pellets get to going, they'll smoke for hours. Well, hello there, everybody. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I'm doing bees. Welcome back to my small bee yard here in southeast Louisiana. Well, all right, folks. Out here in the yard, gonna go do some bee work. So come on, let's go, and let's take a look at what we're doing today. Hopefully... All we're really doing is checking to see how full our supers are. That's really it. Adding space at this point in time of the year uh, is where we want to be. And that's where I think we're at. Turn the corner, as I say. We'll go through these colonies here at home. I'm not going to take you through all of them because it should be pretty set for what we're going to do. But there's a few problem children that have been trying to swarm no matter what. You know, still keeping cells in them each week and... They may just be at that point where they're not going to stay. So what I did with a lot of those was split them off a little bit and did things. But the ones that are stacking in nectar shouldn't have to go in them anymore at this point. Uh, the nests weren't plugged the last time we were in them. Cells were taken care of. Most of them didn't even have cells or were trying to even start cells. So we just got to keep space in those colonies so they won't plug the nest. And that's really it. That's where we're at this point of the year. And they'll load stuff so fast that staying ahead of them is sometimes a challenge when you don't have a ton of equipment. So, the challenge for me is making sure I got enough space with supers. Don't have a ton of supers. So, I have to actually extract in a couple weeks, make more space, put them back on. That's what I've done the last few years. I've even added supers to the inventory, but then all of a sudden I get more hives. So now it's just a matter of staying ahead of them. This is a time frame where I'll uh, usually incur some of those gigantic swarms. Walk out to the yard, which I haven't even looked yet, and see this nice big gigantic swath of bees hanging on a limb right in front of them. Yeah, I hadn't seen any so far. And uh, last trip through the colonies, everything looked good. Hadn't noticed any that swarmed. You know, so, you know, I mentioned to y'all a few that have swarmed here and there, little nukes and stuff like that I had issues with, but and one 10 framer 
kind of knew it would but looking out here don't see any so i want to get on in the bees but again this is the time where maybe i'm a few days late or a few days uh short and getting the space on them and for whatever reason i'm not going down in the bottoms as much anymore at all except for the few problem children or a few of the ones that were growing and things like that so i may miss them and off so off they go and in that case we notice we see it and we go ahead and take the supers off save the honey and if it's ready to be extracted extract it. if not put it on another colony and just keep on rolling but if you look here most everybody's got two to three supers the ones that only have one they're pretty far behind because what i've done the past couple of years is immediately when i know they need space i had two supers that's like adding a deep and uh go from there i do know what the books say and i know they say at 60 percent you add a box 60 percent add a box and they'll tell you to add a medium da, 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 da. Nah, i found that <laughs> that bit me early on because i guess we just grow so fast down here we have that trickle that keeps us growing for oh two months straight where they're not stacking nectar but they're growing bees and just adding one box and them not utilizing it and even adding two boxes and them not utilizing it has resulted in swarms let's get busy and let's look through some boxes and see who we're adding space to and who is still here looks like everybody so far is still here the other day i didn't see hardly any activity i thought oh my goodness if they swarm surely not i just was in them a few days ago no swarm cells nothing surely they haven't about third pass on the mower they came out in in force <laughs> Yeah, they were still here yeah they were still here so let's look and see what we've got what i did with this one was checkerboard the bottom two and on the top one i put drawn comb empty so they could have space in addition to what they had these are nine frame space drawn combs pull the middle one out nothing there not up in this box yet all right safe for a little while but not much because i think the bottoms have a lot Nectar. See what this middle one's got. It's full, but have not finished filling it. And this colony can be rambunctious sometimes, but let's look and see what we got here. This one is halfway capped. So we got a few here and there. Again, I checkerboarded this to give it space. So we'll have like two full, not so full. Another full, so let's look at this full one. Yeah, this one on this side, it's dried out, you can tell. They're just now capping. So we got ways to go still. Again, it's checkerboarded. Just like this one. Yep. Looking good. Now the bottom one. So I'm also going to take note in my mind who's got a lot of cap stuff. Because in about two weeks, I'll have to go through and get the cap. And what I'll do is I won't pull full supers. With not having enough supers, which is just my own being a glutton for punishment i should just have more supers and i can solve the whole problem but it's a storage thing for me i'm, I'm a hobby guy remember well this next one i'll make notes of who's got capped honeys i kind of note in my head and and and, and write in my book later tonight that hey these guys were you know they were doing good and i'll have to go through and piecemeal out full supers full of caps that's painful but it does save the swarms and and I can just go through and throw empty ones on for the big flow. So this was checkerboarded as well. Basically, I moved. And if Nathan is watching, this is what I picked up from Nathan at Duck River on him going to interview the fella in Columbia. I forget his name. So basically, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I dropped down empty comb and pulled up full stuff to the next super up and then put a third one on drawn. So sure enough, let's see what they've done in these empty ones in a week's time and they have filled them but not capped them because they're not all the way full to the top yet and that's another thing i've noticed with bees you gotta watch to see how far they fill the cells sometimes they come to a standstill this one they appear to have come to a standstill but on the ones that had
uh, already capped honey in them, or starting to cap honey and filled honey. Let's see. So look at there. Almost an entirely capped frame with some drone boot on the bottom. But that one, see, in another couple weeks, we'll be ready to spin that on out. Careful when there's drone brood. Sometimes you can have a queen up there. There we go. So, there's some honey being stored for sure. And we won't be long. We'll be, uh, we'll be extracting some of this. That's what I'll be doing most of the day. So let's go through a few more. And remember, I'm not telling you how to do this. This is not a how-to video. I don't ever want anybody to think that. Just like that smoker lighting. That's just how I light a smoker. I'm not telling you how to. This is how I check my colonies this time once we've turned the corner. So don't do what I'm doing and all of a sudden you get a big swarm and go, well, Mike said, mm -mm, Mike's just doing what he does. And if I incur a swarm, so be it. <laughs> Let's get this thing back together and move on to the next. Let me say this before we move on to the next. Under supering, over supering, there's two, there's two teams out there. Some believe in one or the other. And then there's those of us that believe in both ways is fine depending on the situation. And I made this comment to a fella on the comments if you're watching. Um, that I just look at the situation at hand This one here right now, they're working up into these supers. I'll probably just leave it how it is But if I've got one where both the supers are full and it's packed with bees in that case I might go ahead and under super just because I want them to sense immediate space. It's different situations In the case of this one, they're working up and down and they're they're gonna start putting nectar in that bottom one hopefully uh, I mean in that top one, so I won't under super this one necessarily. And remember, I don't use excluders, so every time I under super, I'm just asking for that uh, that brood to come up there. But in a lot of cases, they've already got a, a a dome of honey over the top of the nest. And in a lot of those cases, she won't come up anyway. So it's, it's just kind of a, I see what I'm doing and what's going on. I figure if I just over super all the time, I, can, I can't go wrong, because they've been doing that for years and years and years just fine. If I under super, I really can't go wrong because they've been doing that years and years and years. Get my drift. I, don't, I think it's a situation thing and I don't think there's a right or wrong. I just think it's how I figure I'm gonna do it at that point in time. So again, another how I do, not a how to. All right, here's one guys. I checkerboarded it within itself. There's nothing in the top. I, I pulled the top, let me show you. I just pulled the top one to see what was going on down below and this one's see the the nectar's already turning hazy which means it's cured but it's not filled up in the cells I usually see that in June when they couldn't quite finish out on the flow so there's a little bit in the one above it but then I checkerboarded this bottom one in amongst itself basically moved full ones outside and things like that so let's look and see what this one's got I expect with the flow just starting a couple days ago which they were already bringing in some before that there were some random blooms but I suspect we should see something but sometimes that privet can fool you it looks good and it is nothing to it you know but this is they're filling these up so uh, you can tell I moved this one outside because then the next one is you know not near as done can you see that I don't know if I put that in the camera see so kind of uh, just giving them room and then there's a drawn one above it but the drawn one's got a lot of bees in it and they're working it so this one I'll give a super two I won't go in the bottom didn't have any issues with this one trying to swarm uh, a few weeks we've been in and out of them checking the just the bottom for sales we haven't seen anything when you and I've been through here so I'm not gonna Get excited about it all I'm gonna do is make sure they have space again another frame I left you can tell the ones I left this one I didn't I mean this one I moved in here but they have cleaned it it was all nasty somebody asked me about mold I saw mold in these sometimes I do get a little mildew in these because of the um, sitting outside oh I mashed that but the bees clean them up nice so I move this in and they're you know they're working on it and the next one is full so just checkered them in and then gave them one above and now they're really I'm not gonna checker this one I, I probably could stand to checker it into the next box but I'm not going to on this one I'm gonna just see what it does I look down in there and I can see brown brood comb 
really wide open and that's good so yeah they're filling this one up nice but what I am gonna do is give them another one this is gonna get the signal mm -hmm. and it gets the super signal super up just zipping through them real quick and um, just turning on the camera when I see something this one here I want to go through with y'all next it's always been a massive colony so what are they doing up here I just added this super last week I don't believe they'd be filling it yet but they are working and cleaning it yeah bone dry so we checkered this one this one so let's look at the ones that weren't checkered in and what are they doing yep see whatever they were bringing in last week this is an old wax foundation frame it's ready to be cold this is a true wax foundation I ran these in my third year maybe fourth year something like that but see it's got a hazy look man they stopped they stopped bringing in the nectar so they're capping everything else but Let's look at the ones that we catch that were already filling up last week. So I suspect we should see another influx of nectar, I would hope. Otherwise, the privet might not be doing good. See, this is one that was checkered. It's almost capped in. But there's that haziness again. Meaning that honey didn't get all the way filled to the top and they dried it anyway. And I've seen that before where they don't cap it sometimes. But in this case, they will because we've got plenty of season left. But yeah, so uh, you can tell where I checkered in frames. Although this one is filling up good. Get some smoke on them. They're a little antsy. Or beezy. Not antsy. Ants get antsy. Bees get beezy. Again, very light though. Very light. See, there's that haziness. So we need a fresh flow to get on in here. This is wax foundation too. Old frame. We need, uh... The next one's almost completely capped. So what I'll do again is I'll end up having to piecemeal this out. Get the frames out make boxes full boxes yeah that's been added since I checkerboarded because they built that out there's obviously a frame that's what happens when you have frames that aren't all the way built out and you get a partial flow I've noticed so I'll show you what I'm talking about so you see this is concave to that all right this was what they filled when I checkerboarded these frames I must have put a frame next to them that didn't have even amount of, of comb so they built this out just in the last week Here's why. So this one will be a pain to extract, even though I'm running nine frames. They tore this down and repaired it and haven't even filled it yet. So there you go. So it's almost like dead space. They've done the same on the other. So that's a problem with old combs too. So it's gonna be about time to cull some of these as I see them. But in the end, they're working it. They're not working up anymore. So this might be a case where I would under super this box. Just because this hive is massive. This don't have handles. This is an old box I got from somebody. Didn't have no handles. Except for on the front and back. This one is full. So I checkerboarded that one with this one. So that would mean this one should be the empty one I put in here in the bottom. Again, I got this from Nathan. Yep, and they've tried to fill it, and that's fresh nectar, so that's good. But, bottom line is they've just about capped it, filled it and capped it. So this box is full, so what I'm going to do with this other drawn box, I'm going to under super my top box. After I dump all those bees on my foot with all that nectar. Because, you got to have at least a one mishap in the bee yard. I'm not going to go deep into this colony going to hope that they have been satisfied with space. I'm going to give them space right above this and I'm going to put the honey back on top. It's always my tallest hive. The last three years running. Yeah, it's going to be a heavy one. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Bottom line with me, what I've learned, give them space so they don't plug that nest. Because this is the mild flow. We need these bees here in three weeks for that tallow. Additionally, with this colony, I'll mark it for another super. It's going to need another super. As I run out of supers, I'll be putting uh, deep foundation 10 frames on top of some of them. And they'll be putting tallow in those. I asked about before about um, walkaway splits versus, versus getting the queen cells. 
I get a two week jump. And so normally when I do a walkway split, I'm not having a good laying queen in a colony like this one that I did a split on. I don't have her um, laying good until almost just around mid-April. And then, so you miss the whole privet because now her first e uh, eggs aren't going to, or her first brood isn't going to emerge until um, 21 days after that, which is only a two weeks before the tallow flow, which now means she got two weeks and she better be a gangbuster queen to get those things going and get enough bees for a workforce it usually doesn't work out versus now this one here it's got two supers it's got a brick in the back meaning it may not need a super right now but it's going to need a super going up soon and what we got there is now we got supers that are being filled in the light flow and the tallow she'll be blowing up so that's the difference in me but you know when i bought cells last year and then made cells this year i made those cells those are my cells i grafted and she's growing up and that's the difference between putting a cell in and doing a walkaway split not not bad mouth and a walkaway split at all did them for years and with plenty of colonies you can get as much honey as you need you just don't count them necessarily and if you do get some it's a bonus but i'm just saying for me i needed to not have that stress in the middle of april wondering if one of my primary swarm now my secondary which is the new walkaway queen she's not ready and now i've got two colonies that are out of production so that's why i went to doing cells finally without the walkway splits this thing is blowing up so looking down on this one it had a it's got another super on it. i took it off it's completely empty it's drawn but it's empty and what i did with this one i said well let me put some foundation over the brood nest i want to see what they do and uh i put it on and in the first seven days they started drawing it out but they haven't messed with the rest of it but so they they still got a lot of wax on there I'll just stick this right here for now, but let's see what they've done. Here they're starting to pull this out. Look how pretty, how pretty yellow that is. And uh, of course they could have put brood. I put it over the brood nest just to, I just wanted to try it uh, during the little light flow that we had to see what they would do. I was experimenting and this might be eggs. <laughs> I don't see any nectar that's drawn. Looking for eggs. I don't see any, I just see nectar. They're drawing it out nice. Here's the one. This will tell the tale because it's in the middle. This is where you'd get the queen to start with. Starting up. And it's all nectar. Look at that. Drew it out. Now, it's first week they had it mostly drawn. This is the second week. And again, I think the flow has slowed down now that we got the privet out. Hopefully, it'll pick back up. But I'm a little surprised at how much it slowed. But they actually drew this out. And I was surprised. You don't... It's not greatest time to draw it because it's so hit and miss but again hazy honey it's it's drying out but it's not being capped so the cells aren't full and I would hope there's some fresh nectar I'm hoping this privet is a good maybe we get a good rain a lot of times a good rain will help things uh, but we don't have any rain till Monday got good flying weather and a lot of flowers but who knows who knows if it's yielding so they drew it out nice all the way over to here, they're drawing it to the left. They're so yeah, these these bees are doing good. This is a little one I grew up last year. This is my graft colony, and I went ahead and put a new queen in it, requeened it with her own queen cell from her. I forgot what happened to her. Maybe I actually moved her. I don't know. But they're doing good. They're growing up slow. They're not in a hurry, and they're doing good. Another good one. Happy with that one. I'll put the second super back on, gives them plenty of room to grow, and they'll be good to go. And then, right next door, I did the same thing with the drawing to see what they were going to do. I was experimenting now, guys. I do a lot of experimenting here and there with certain colonies. I go back and watch them, but I turned right around and put this in right next door to it, and I over-supered this one over top of some where they were already putting honey. Granted, this one wasn't already loading a lot of nectar, so in their defense. But this one, they're loading this second one that I've drawn completely full. And the whole box is drawn out except for frames one and ten. So this one over supered and it did just fine. But again, they had already had nectar in their second deep, but uh, I mean their second medium. But anyway, just to give you an idea, it surprised me because usually the right before the privet is not that good for drawing them. But I needed space and I didn't want to use all my drawing. Because I had some serious colonies that needed drawn comb. And that leaves us with this box. But again, you see how they slow down, so I'm not sweating it too much. This one here, let's see. That one's 
checkerboarded in and of itself. Same thing with these. So pretty much all my colonies that are strong are looking about the same. And I checkerboarded these within itself. So like this one's good, this one's good, that one's not. What have they done? They filled it up in the last week. But again, hazy honey. When I see hazy honey, that's it's usually in the summer. So it's, you can't tell, I guess, but it's not glistening like the top. The top is glistening, the bottom's not. Fresh versus been in there a while and not quite full. So, so hopefully the privet pushes them on over. Well, folks, I have been through so many of these colonies already. Been through them all. Man, the bees, I don't know. It's just hard to do it on camera, but wow, they're working hard today. I mean, just flying. So, in this stack, everybody's just pretty much sure. Everybody's been about the same. This is one of the most full colonies I got. I've got a, a drawn super arm that they're in working in, just cleaning. They're not filling, maybe a little bit. These frames, they're pretty much filled across, filled across here. I under supered this for whatever reason, but there's some drawn in here. And then this is one of them that's just full waiting to be capped. So that's the deal for the most part uh, as the what we're looking at. Everybody's about the same. It's like the nectar flow. Uh, there was a flow of some sort. It wasn't the tallow yet because it hadn't even bloomed. And it really ramped up for a little while there. Not sure what it was. Um, but we don't know. We think we know. We don't know half the time. These aggravating bees. There was one colony over there that's really irritated. But uh, then it just it seemed to stop so far from what I can tell this week sometime. In this week it stopped uh, because... All those boxes were added this week and they've remained dry and they kind of stopped where they were at filled in the bottom one so sometime in it so hopefully the privet picks it back up we start to see some more nectar go in uh the key right now for me is just simply trying to stay ahead of them uh, i probably got 60 65 supers you know and almost all of them are out right now and i got about six more to put on that i can add space to um so it's just a matter of staying ahead piecemealing out some frames that are capped and consolidating boxes I did that last year is a pain to do it but it's just what has to be done because I don't have a ton of equipment I'm not going to keep 150 supers not at this point anyway uh, now we just stay ahead of them in space with space we just got to keep the space on them so that they're always filling and not plugging the nest I went into one doesn't have a super yet but they're plugging the nest a little bit but there's not a lot of bees but they're going to need a super once they start plugging that nest I'm in trouble so I'm sure in the days to come, I'll probably see a gigantic blanket of bees hanging off one of these trees. Um, and that happens each year, you know, to an extent. And you get two or three big old swarms. You're not sure where they came from. You find out who it is. Once you do, you move the super somewhere else. Take what you can from them and move on. That's going to be it for today. It's all about maintaining space at this point in time and watching the trees to see if we miss some of them. <laughs> and hey, look, they do that. They got a mind of their own sometimes. I'll under super, over super, mid super, whatever super. And... It, don't, it just doesn't always work. It just doesn't always work. Uh, you know, sometimes I missed a cue somewhere and maybe they flipped the switch on something and decided, yep, we're done, we're going. Who knows? Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. You see what I'm doing? That's it. Just going through and checking, checking space. Going to be doing that for the next few weeks. And uh, hopefully, mid May, we got everything stacked and waiting for the tallow. Who knows? I hope y'all enjoyed this little trip through the yard. I appreciate all y'all watching. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful day. And may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.